City officials in San Marcos want to crack down on what they're calling stealth dorms. Those are homes built and zoned as single-family homes, but the design inside might suggest otherwise. The city's neighborhood commission says it's gotten complaints from neighbors about a home going up on Sturgeon Drive. KXAN's Tahara Rahman explains why the layout of the building is causing some concerns. When I first saw it, I was happy because that lot's been empty since we've been here. But once this building went up, Stephen Wall worried what was being presented as a single family home may not actually be one. The fact that this is a four bedroom, four bath, means it's not a single family dwelling, which is what all this is zoned for. Elizabeth Dobbins with the San Marcos Neighborhood Commission says each bedroom has its own bathroom with no common access, and that raises a red flag. A lot of the times what they're doing is defraying their own costs because then they rent out the, the bedrooms individually to whomever and they make more money off of them. It's what the city calls a stealth dorm. Something that is being built ostensibly for the purpose of a single family and instead it's housing unrelated people. But this building is technically following code. So I asked Dobbins why the permit was granted in the first place. I'm not too sure it would have come up on the radar screen per se. It's a learning process. City officials say that building permits for this land next to that building have been requested yet and the goal is to change city code before that happens. What tweaks need to be done to the code to prevent this type of housing in a single family neighborhood again? Wall wants to make sure of it. I plan on getting a more active role to see what we can do to get them to stop building further giant houses that are not actually houses. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. San Marcos City Council members have instructed city staff to research stealth dorms. From there, they are expected to make recommendations on how council members can change the city code. The Neighborhood Commission hopes to have something passed by this spring.